we want to find the slope of the tangent line to the parametric curve given by x equals four cosine t and y equals two sine t at the point t equals pi over six radians. So to find the slope of the tangent line at t equals pi over six radians, we need to find dy dx and evaluate dy dx at t equals pi over six. And because we have parametric equations, dy dx is equal to dy dt divided by dx dt. But before we find the slope of the tangent line, let's find the point of tangency by evaluating the parametric equations at t equals pi over six radians, where the x-coordinate of the point of tangency would be x of pi over six radians, and the y-coordinate of the point of tangency would be y of pi over six radians. So x of pi over six would be equal to four times cosine pi over six radians, and y of pi over six is equal to two times sine pi over six radians. Now to find these trig function values, we can use a reference triangle since pi over six radians is equal to 30 degrees, or we could use a unit circle, and we'll show both. If this is a 30, 60, 90 reference triangle, then the 30 degree angle here would be equal to pi over six radians. So we can label the opposite side a length of one, the hypotenuse length two, and the other leg square root three. And therefore, cosine pi over six is equal to the ratio of the adjacent side of the hypotenuse, which would be square root three divided by two. So x equals four times square root three divided by two. Notice how this simplifies to two square root three, which again is the x-coordinate of the point of tangency. And then for the y-coordinate, we'd have two times sine pi over six, which is equal to the ratio of the opposite side to the hypotenuse, which would be one half. And two times one half is equal to one. Now again, we could also find the trig function values using the unit circle or notice at pi over six radians, the x-coordinate is square root three divided by two, which is the cosine function value, and the y-coordinate is one-half, which is the sine function value. So our point of tangency has coordinates two square root three comma one. The two square root three makes it hard to plot, so let's use a decimal approximation. This would be approximately 3.464 comma one. So looking at our curve, notice how that would be this point here. One more thing to mention here, as t increases, the curve is traced out in this direction, which means our curve has this orientation. Now our goal here is to find the slope of the tangent line at this point, which would be the slope of this line here. So now we'll find dy dx and then evaluate dy dx at t equals pi over six radians. So dy dx again is equal to dy dt divided by dx dt. Well dy dt would be the derivative of two sine t with respect to t that would be two cosine t. And dx dt would be four times the derivative of cosine t with respect to t, that would be negative four sine t. Now simplifying, we have negative two fourths, which simplifies to negative one half, and then cosine t divided by sine t simplifies to cotangent t. And now we need to evaluate dy dx at t equals pi over six radians to find the slope of our tangent line. which would be negative one half times cotangent pi over six. Looking at our triangle here, cotangent pi over six is equal to the ratio of the adjacent side to the opposite side, which would be square root three divided by one or just square root three. So we have negative one half times square root three. So the exact slope of the tangent line when t is pi over six radians is negative square root of three divided by two, which is approximately negative 0 0.866.
I also graphed the tangent line using some software to be more accurate. And here it is. And we found the slope of this red tangent line at this point is negative square root three divided by two, which is approximately negative 0 0.866. I hope you found this helpful.